Hi guys, so it's that time of the month again. I'm going to show you my monthly haul. Um, I'm not going to be doing my goals segment of this video just now because uni has just started back and I actually didn't get around to doing anything from last month because of that and I'm kind of re-evaluating everything that are in my goals so uh, that might be back the yeah, that might be back next month, I don't know yet, um, we'll see. Second disclaimer, um, I get told off every time I do this and told I'm being silly but I'm just going to apologise for the state of my appearance. I have a long shoot tomorrow and then I've got another shoot the day after and I've got a lot of stuff going on so I'm actually having a break day. I'm going to put a hair mask in my hair, put a face mask on my face, I'm going to like try and just rejuvenate everything tonight so I wanted to put as little makeup on my face today as possible so that I wouldn't be, you know, overloading my face today. Unrelated note, I always have my social media and everything down below if you're interested in following me and seeing all my uh, modelling pictures and everything. You can find that on my Facebook and I also put some of them on my Instagram so you should definitely follow me there, it will be super cool. But yeah, so today's going to be a little bit old school, I'm going to just show you the stuff that I've gotten recently. So I got a lot of clothes this month and I guess I'll start off with those. Um, yesterday I was meeting a longtime fan of mine, she's also a model, her name is Maisie Marzipan on Facebook. I'll put her modelling page down below as well, I'll have that video up soon I promise. But her and I swapped a bunch of clothes for photo shoots so I've got them all here and I'll show you them. The first thing she gave me was this pair of shorts which are like super cute, I love short shorts and um... The hardware on it was originally gold, but I've just been in the process today of uh, painting it silver with nail polish, just because I'm not a gold girl, I've still not done the back. But yeah, I'm really impressed with how it's turning out. Those will look great on a photo shoot since I've worn all my shorts pretty much in previous shoots. She obviously knows I love mermaids, so she got me these awesome kind of fish scale print uh, Leggings. I'm not usually a leggings girl, but I can't wait to wear these as well. They match my hair. I'm so excited. They're so pretty. So pretty! She also got me another set of leggings. These have rips in them and then there's also like lace on the inside and you can choose whether or not you want the lace showing or if you just want the rips and those are really cool. Versatility. I love it. She also got me this lace thing. I have a million and one lace things, but I love having more of them, um, I can put something on underneath it since it's see-through, it's just a whole load of lace foolishness, it's awesome. And then the last thing she got me was this cute little latex hair clippy bow thing. I'm so happy it like contrasts with my hair super well, I think it's super cute. <laughs> I can't wait to wear that to a photo shoot as well, I might be able to wear that tomorrow, it won't get out of my hair now, but there, it's so cute. So moving on to clothes I actually bought this month, I bought this really awesome hoodie from one of the goth shops in Glasgow yesterday. It was like £10 and it's got lacy bits, I don't have a top that goes very well, but lacy bits and it's got hoods and the inside of the hood has lace and um, it's got like cool awesome drawstringy bits and the best bit, my favourite part about alternative hoodies is they always have these and these are my favourite things ever. I saw them and I was like yes, I just want to stick my thumb for them that's weird but it's so cute and it's like it zips up and it's just adorable. So the next thing I got was from the same shop a week earlier and it's this awesome kind of long dress top by Heartless. It's got um lacy stuff on the sides and it's like a Ouija board design and at the bottom it's got clips for clipping onto uh stockings and stuff that's going to be so cool. I'm wearing it for the shoot tomorrow so we'll get to see pictures of that. So that's all the clothes I got. Let's move on to Funko Pops. I kind of had a bit of a Funko Pop obsession this month. I ended up buying for cheap online this American Horror Story Coven Misty Day. She is so cute. I think she was my favourite character in Coven even though Coven was my least favourite series. But I really liked her and I love Stevie Nicks so, oh so cute and I think I got her for like £6 on eBay which was pretty cool. And then Robert finally managed to order in the two Funko Pops I wanted for my birthday. I got Vegeta and Final Form Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. If you don't already know Dragon Ball is like my favourite thing ever and they're so cute, look at him. 
it's over 9,000. And then I've got Freezer, and Freezer's just a babe. Now we're finally onto the buckets. So what's in the bucket, what's in the buckets? So the first thing in my bucket I actually kind of hate already after using it once, it's this Collection Lasting Perfection Powder. Um, I've tried it once, I'm not impressed I think because I'm used to like white translucent powders now. A flesh toned one is a bit too not white for me, I don't know, I just don't like it and I hate the packaging, it's so bulky and it's, it's got a mirror and a sponge and oh, I just, I'm just not feeling it but it was cheap so whatever. So the rest of the stuff I got this month were DVDs, I got some really cool ones that I was super excited about. I finally got a DVD copy of A Clockwork Orange, aka one of my favourite films ever. I showed last month my Clockwork Orange tattoo so I'm super excited to actually have this in DVD and not VHS I think we had before so I have this. I got a copy of Andy Warhol's Blood for Dracula and Flesh for Frankenstein. They're two of my favourite horror movies ever. Udo Kier is an absolute babe. Um, this is actually the German version, though it does have the English audio on it as well. So like the back's all in German and stuff. And this was actually pretty expensive. I think I paid like £12 for this. But I just really wanted it and they're, they're great movies. If you haven't seen these movies, you should see them right now. I think I like Blood for Dracula best. But Flesh for Frankenstein is also good. I also got a DVD copy of Hey Mr. Producer. This was another one we had in VHS and um, this was one of my grand's favourite DVDs and we'd watch it with her all the time and when she was kind of um, in her house dying of cancer and stuff, I've not really talked about it on here, but um, we watched this a good amount of times and I don't have a VHS player so I wanted a DVD version so that I could watch it whenever I wanted. Um, it was basically a showcase that they did where they had a bunch of performances from Broadway stars of like all sorts of famous musicals that Cameron Mackintosh happened to produce. So they had Cats and Phantom of the Opera and um, My Fair Lady and Miss Saigon and stuff. And um, it was one of her favourite. Uh, it was one of her favourite things. So I wanted to get it. <laughs> Moving on from that rather somber bit. I finally have my own copy of season one of Hannibal. Um, there's a little bit of a story behind this. My parents, somewhere in their house, have season one of Hannibal and I watched it when they first got it over a year ago, I think. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. And then I moved out and um, they ended up getting season two and the last like four or five months, I've been coming over and been like, I want to watch season two, but I want to rewatch season one since we have it on DVD. Have you seen it? And for the past four or five months, they've been like, it's like literally disappeared off the face of the earth. And it was really gutty. So I've actually not watched all of season two yet. I started it streaming it, and then I just wanted to watch it on DVD because you know. Um, but now that I finally have this, I can rewatch it and finally finish watching season two and catch up. I'm so excited. Mads Mikkelsen is just so hot. Such a babe. I would. Yes, so I have this. And that's everything I've got this month. Stay tuned for next month and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye bye.